Hello everyone, I'm Beastalia14, and I'm back with it again with 70 new Forge and Fabric mods for both 1.16.5 and 1.17.1. All of the mods will be available in the description below. You can check their respective mod loaders and available versions in the title cards of each section. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. The first mod that we have is Queen B. This mod as in a Queen B mob in the form of a mini boss. Be careful if you do decide to engage combat with the Queen Bee. It has a whopping 100 HP and can inflict poison on you. When defeated, the Queen Bee will drop its bee antenna. It will make all bees never get angry with the player. Very handy for beekeeping. You may also find the Stingless Ward in the beehive that the Queen Bee spawns in. With that, you can summon a bee pet that cures you and your allies. So overall, I think it's a really well thought out mod. The second mod that we have is Snow Cube's Sea Dwellers. This mod adds in a few underwater villages with a new type of villager, the Mermoths. These villagers are friendly to the player and will trade loot boxes with the player for either prismarine crystals, lapis, and diamonds. You can start your own sea village by crafting a structure called the Altar of the Sea. After that, simply right-click the diamond block with a Heart of the Sea, and voila! For a more in-depth guide, check out this Curse Forge page for more information. The third mod is a simple mod that adds a display case into the game. You can put any item inside the case, and one cool thing is that it links with the vanilla chain item. So yeah, pretty cool for collecting items. The fourth mod that we have is Awesome Dungeons. This mod adds in a couple amazing structures with loots and mob spawners inside. The structures are very vanilla-like, so you can pretty much put this in any mod pack. The fifth mod that we have is Cozy Comforts. This is yet again another quality camping mod. It has a large variety of food items into the game, along with some practical items such as ropes that you can climb on, pots that you can cook in, and much more. The textures and models of everything in this mod fits really well in vanilla Minecraft, so I think it's a good addition for lightweight RPG mod packs. After that, we have the Final Fantasy mod. This mod adds in quite a few high quality mobs into the game. Coming up next is a simple combat enhancement mod called Parry This. Unlike other combat mods that overhauls the combat system completely, this mod aims to add extra combat abilities to the game while maintaining the vanilla feel that makes Minecraft, well, Minecraft. To start off, you can now parry attacks by timing your attacks to the enemies. There are enchantments that allows you to deflect arrows with this mechanic. You can now shield bash enemies by attacking when the shield is active. Bashed enemies will take 50% more damage on your next attack. You can dodge enemy attacks by holding ult and tapping either A, S or D. There are new weapons added as well, such as mazes and hammers that deal penetration damage. Or flares that has a high attack speed and ignore shields. Overall, it's a really awesome mod, so I decided to put that in my mod pack Mine Shops and Monsters as well, so maybe check that out. Alright, after that, that's Chococraft and Better Nether. Now, these two mods are really famous already, so I don't think they need much of an introduction. But what you may not know is that these two mods are now available for Forge 1.16.5 version, which is basically the golden age of mods in my opinion, so yeah, be sure to check those out. Next up, we have Trading Post. This mod adds in an item that allows you to check and trade with all nearby villagers by simply right-clicking on the post. It saves you so much trouble to locate each individual villager, and I highly recommend this for a Vanilla Plus mod pack. Aquamire is an ocean exploration mod that adds new sea creatures, a new biome, and a new boss ghost of Captain Cornelia. There are actually quite a few things that I didn't mention, so be sure to check that out yourself. And here's another simple mod called Trajectory Preview. This mod shows you a preview of the projectile's movement such as enderpearl, snowball, egg, arrows, etc. If you have trouble landing shots in the distance, then this mod may help you a bit. Alright, so the last mod for Forge is Ambient Additions. This mod adds in quite a few new wildlifes into the game, along with a way to capture all of them. You will need to first drop the mod by using blow dots on it, and then capture it with a crate. The cool thing is that you can basically use this on any kind of mob besides bosses, making this item a very useful way of transporting animals. <laughs> 
and onto the fabric mods. The first one that we have is Copper Golem. As the name suggests, this mod adds in the new Copper Golem, announced in Minecons, and it basically functions exactly the same way Mojang describes it. The little twitching pole on his head is quite a nice touch on the details as well. After that, we have the guild. This mod adds in a new structure in Vanilla Villages. You can buy a professional license from the guild master inside and start working on quests by pressing the J button. This adds a really nice RPG element into Vanilla Minecraft that just feels right. Coming up next is Enderscape. This mod adds a few new biomes, blocks, and two high quality mobs into the game. Overall, a really nice mod. Alright, so the last mod that we have is Kami's Combat Tweaks. This is basically the parry this mod, but slightly varied and is available for fabric. Now, attack speed will act as a hard cooldown, which means you can't spam left click anymore. But the attack speed of most weapons are now much faster. I think the most notable change is the new shield mechanic, which allows you to parry attacks if you time your shield use properly. But after releasing right click, you will lose the ability to use the shield for 2 seconds. There are also tons of changes made to projectiles, potions, enchantments, regenerations, etc. So I would recommend you to check out the Moss Curse Forge page for more info. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Which mod was your favorite? Comment below. Consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want to see more contents like this. It really means a lot to me. Alright, that's it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.